this lesson, we're going to take a closer look at these very cool motors and learn how to control them with an Arduino sketch. A stepper has multiple electromagnets inside that control the rotation by triggering one after the next, with each magnet in turn taking the rotor to the next step. Uh, the microcontroller can instruct the motor to move to any step, and because of this, steppers are often used for projects where precision is key, like computer-controlled tools like CNC mills and 3D printers. You're going to find a lot of use for steppers, but they're not perfect for every project. You're going to find that servos and regular old DC motors are going to be used probably more often than steppers are. Okay, this is going to be the easiest wiring ever. Um, I mentioned that the, the blue and pink and yellow and orange wires control the electromagnets, and the red one is for ground or is unused. Well, we're not going to use it this time. I'm going to plug this in through um, with the first four on pins 8 through 11, and then um, the, um, the red one is just going to hang off the end between the two banks of, of headers. There you go. You can see how the red one is just, the pin is just dangling down between those two, and then the blue and the other ones are on pins 8 through 11. And that's it. I mean, uh, let's let's plug it in and work on the sketch, and let's see what we can make this thing do. Okay, let's program our stepper, um, and we're going to use the the stepper libraries example, stepper underscore one step at a time. All right, so let's just tweak a couple of these settings. Um, we need to change the steps per revolution to 512. That is the number of steps in our motor. Um, let's see here, what else? So basically, um, this looks ready to, to upload, so I'll upload it. And what we're going to do is turn on the serial monitor. As you can see, um, it tells us the number of steps it's taking. So let's see what's going on. There you go. And you can't see it, but the um, the uh, the motor's uh, rotor is turning. So let's see, let's um, let's see what it looks like. So it is turning, but you can barely see it go. Oh, this is a little piece of tape on there to see it work, but uh, it's not very dramatic. But you can see it turning. Um, so let's take another look at the code and figure out what we can do to change the stepper's behavior. You know, can we make it go faster? Can we make it do other things? Okay, let's go back into the code and see what's going on here. Um, well, just starting at the beginning, you see there's the stepper library there, and we already went over um, what this 512 means. It's just the number of steps uh, per complete revolution. Um, and in our case, we used a motor with 512 steps. <clears throat> Um, these are the pins that it uses. Uh, this is this um, this is this the number of steps the motor has taken, and we initialize it at zero. Um, the The main interesting part here for me, uh, because basically all this does is just go through each step one at a time, is this delay here. Um, so so a delay is a five hundred is five hundred milliseconds or half a second. And um, if it's taking one step per delay, that means it's taking 512 steps uh, for with half a second per step. And that's why it's going so slowly. So why don't we change this delay to 10 and see um, if that can make it go faster because it's going through each step uh, once every one one hundredth of a second. Let's upload it and check it out. Well, it's going much faster. You can see that flag turning around. Basically, if you think about it, a delay of 500 is half a second. So 
Um, if it's making one five hundred and twelfth of a rotation every half a second, it's going to take a long time to make a, a one complete circuit. But by reducing the delay to 10, which is one one hundredth of a second, it goes much faster. Let's see what else we can do. If you want to learn more about things that you can do with your stepper motors, check out the reference page on the Arduino website for the stepper library. Uh, basically, there's a couple of main things that you can do. One, you can set the speed um, and, and, and that's basically just telling it how many RPMs you want to, uh, want to go. And the other one is step, and that's telling it to go to a specific step. So if you use the command step parentheses 100, it will take it to the, um, it will take it to step 100 on the motor. So it's pretty simple, um, but uh, very handy if you want to control your, your stepper motor precisely. That's it for steppers. In our next episode, we're going to check out solenoids, which are kind of like motors, except rather than turning a shaft, they push and pull it. Thanks for watching.